Good day, learners! I hope you are all doing well today as we start our lesson for this week. For this week's learning competency, we're going to explain the hierarchy of colors in relation to energy of visible light. O, ano nga ba ang kinalaman ng pagkakasunod-sunod o hanay ng colors of light sa energy nito? natin ang hanay ng colors of light sa rainbow. Sige, isa-isahin natin mula sa itaas. Meron tayong red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Upang hindi natin makalimutan, tandaan natin ang acronym na Roy G. Beef. Siguro nagtataka ka rin kung bakit nakahanay sa isang particular na sequence ang colors of light tulad ng nakita natin sa rainbow. Oops! Teka lang, bago yan, ano nga ba ang visible light? Ang visible light ay isang electromagnetic wave. Bakit siya naging electromagnetic wave? Dahil ito ay may kakayahan na makapag-travel sa solid, liquid, and gas, ganun din sa isang vacuum o yung space without matter o yung tinatawag nating empty space. Ito ay kahanay ng mga electronic waves tulad ng radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma rays. Alam nyo, light travels very fast with a speed of 300 km per second or 300 million meter per second. At itong uh, speed na to ng light, actually, it is the speed of light in a vacuum. Or yung example dito is the outer space. Pero kapag halimbawa itong light na to, ay tumama dito sa mga refracting medium tulad ng uh, prism, ng water droplets, or ng glass. Okay? Yung component colors nito na Roy G. Biv, ay nag-iiba-iba yung speed. At dahil dito, ito ay nagbibend into different angles, kaya nakikita natin ito ay naghihiwa-hiwalay into different colors na kagaya ng nakikita natin sa isang rainbow. Actually, it was Sir Isaac Newton who first used a glass prism for obtaining the spectrum of sunlight. Dito na-observe niya na itong white light ay nagsiseparate or naghihiwahiwalay into Roy G. Beeb or into different colors. Dito pumasok yung konsepto ng dispersion of light. Pag sinabi nating dispersion of light, it is the scattering of white light into different colors o yung paghihiwahiwalay ng white light into different colors o ito nga yung rainbow colors. Okay, so balikan natin yung tanong na ano nga ba ang kinalaman ng hanay ng colors of light sa energy nito? Okay, let us take a look and study this chart. Based from our chart, which specific color of light has the longest wavelength? Correct, that is red. How about the color of light with the shortest wavelength? Correct again, that is violet. How about the color of light with the highest frequency. Correct? That is violet. How about the color of light with the lowest frequency? Correct again. That is red. Alright, let us take a look at the energy of light. Which color of light has the highest amount of energy. Correct. That is violet. 
How about a specific color of light with the lowest amount or the least amount of energy? Good, that is red. Now, how is energy related to the wavelength of the colors of light? Okay, so we can say that as the wavelength of the colors of light becomes shorter, the energy increases. Or habang lumiliit yung wavelength ng colors of light, tumataas yung energy. Kaya nga si Violet with the shortest wavelength has the highest energy. At kapag naman ang wavelength ay malaki or lumalaki, kagaya ng red, ang energy nito ay bumababa. Kaya nga yung red has the lowest amount of energy. Now, how is energy related to the frequency of the colors of light? Okay, so based from our chart, we can say na kapag tumataas ang frequency ng colors of light or ng wave ng colors of light, tumataas din ang energy nito. Kaya nga si Violet with the Highest frequency has the highest energy and red with the lowest frequency has the lowest amount of energy. Pero syempre, nagtataka pa rin kayo kung bakit sa rainbow color, nasa top or nasa pinakataas si red at nasa bottom naman si violet. So, ang sagot doon ay dahil nga di ba si, uh, si red light ay mas malaki yung wavelength or it has the longest wavelength, mas mabilis yung kanyang speed. Samantalang si Violet, dahil nga short ang kanyang wavelength or it has the shortest wavelength, siya naman yung pinaka mabagal. Para bang ikukumpara mo sa naglalakad isang malaki yung hakbang at isang maiksi yung hakbang. So, sino yung mas mabilis? So, syempre, ah, uh, mas mauuna itong si mas malaki yung hakbang. So, mahiiwan or ma mabagal itong si maliliit ng hakbang. So, same with light. So, sa pangyayari na yun, uh, mas, ma, uh, mas mataas yung bending or yung refraction ni violet kumpara kay red. Kaya si red nasa itaas, si violet ay nasa Ibaba. So, another ano din, analogy. Halimbawa, kumuha ka ng, ano, ng spring na may iba't ibang kulay. Pinakamahaba si red, pinakamaiksi si violet. Tapos, i-bend mo siya. Okay? So, i-bend mo. So, pag binend mo yun, dahil nga pinaka-long si red, di ba si red yung nasa taas, dahil pinakamaliit naman si violet, siya yung nasa pinaka ibaba. So, that is a simple analogy for us to understand kung bakit nga ba si red ay nasa taas ng rainbow color at si violet naman yung nasa ibaba. So, I hope you learned something for today's lesson. So, I hope you can answer now the uh, quiz provided for you.